Hey, welcome to Vice Grip Garage. Today is officially day one of Hot Rod Power Tour. We are headed to Norwalk, Ohio. We're gonna take you guys with. We're riding in the 1970 Cadillac DeVille, known as Betty White. Quite the view this morning. We came in really late last night. Didn't even see this. We're staying up in an area called Sandusky. It's about 30 minutes from the venue. We're gonna head over to Wally World first. We gotta pick up a couple things, some ice, a cooler, sunscreen. Yeah, we forgot all the Hot Wheels cars for kiddos out. Oh, home. that's right. So we gotta get some more of those. Yeah, we're gonna get some Hot Wheel cars for the kids. A lot of these areas, we're driving through small towns and stuff like that. It's basically like a rolling car show so everyone's out with the lawn chairs and stuff like that we're going to pick up as many hot wheel cars as we can and throw them out to kids that are standing by there i gotta undo the security system here quick on the old cadillac and then we'll head out when i park at motels and i got hei i'll take the 12 volt and unplug it but if i'm running points like this one here what i do is take the coil wire run it to a plug side and take a plug and put it where the coil normally goes. So even if they break in and hotwire the ignition, you know, it ain't gonna do the lightning storm that it needs to operate correctly. Let's do a cold start on Betty here. Get the choking gauge, maybe one extra. Oh, she tried. All right, give her a couple pumps. Huh. Come on now. Oh, there she is. All right. Off we go. We got a Wally World close. Uh, three miles. That ain't bad. Boys, you excited for the show today? Yeah. Cool. What kind of cars are you looking for? Corvettes. Corvettes? Uh, Marrows. Marrows? C10s. C10s. <laughs> Can't say I'm disappointed at all. That's a mighty fine yeah. list. Cars running great this morning. If you're following along yesterday, we think we had some debris float through the fuel making happener and it's causing a little bit of a starvation issue. But I did feed it some onions on the way to the hotel there. And might have come around, I'm not sure. I'm contemplating doing a carburetor rebuild, but it depends on how much time we have today after the event. We'll just kind of play it by ear. There is a, oh, oh, rally! We found them. Yeah. All right, what's the plan here? We just start grabbing? Yeah, because we can't really get these ones because one would have their own like package. So if we got these, we'd have to open them. And I don't really like that. So. Oh, true. All right, boys, start grabbing. Grab all those hot wheels. Every single one. All the individual ones. I remember when these used to be like, what were they, 40 cents or something? Two for a dollar? Yeah, sure. Get some, get some muscle cars, you know what I mean? Well, but these aren't very... How many kids do you think we're gonna run across? I don't know. This is just hopefully gonna spark some imagination for kids. Who didn't grow up with these driving them around? I know I put a couple million miles on some. The old heavy duty steel ones, like Tri Fives. But yeah, so what we'll do when we're going down the road through small towns, if we see kids, instead of like candy in a parade, we're going to throw these out to the kids. And just something we do to try to give back and get the kids involved. That's fresh shave. Is that the one yeah, you wanted? I love the smell. I like the colors. We got I some know, but tire shine. We need some rags. Isn't that smell good? Might be some rags down here, huh? Sure. What do we got? What's this? Multi purpose towel list? Sprayway got a new design oh did i get you yeah uh-oh i think we're gonna make it in gonna see if we can get a car wash at least get the bugs off of betty you know what i mean well the gate went up so i don't know so far so good Whoop. turn the air conditioning on still blows cold but it's at the feet i got a vacuum leak the 
mode door ain't flapping the way it should. Someday I'll get around to that, but the only way to cruise a hard top is with the windows down anyway. Oh, that's great. We just, yeah, we're just dragging frame on this. I'm trying to think, no, I don't have fuel lines on this side, so we're good. It's just brake lines. Oh, good. Do you guys think it'll leak? This is the first auto magical wash in the Cadillac. Yeah, that's a good call. Maybe right here. What do you think, Benjamin? Uh, no. No leak? All right, we got the squid arm things coming. What is it with these guys and the lack of soap these days? That's it for soap. We are stuck in the car wash. It's just slamming us back and forth right now. Are you serious right now? Uh oh. There we go. Yeah, yeah, at least one more. Yeah. There we go. Rebottomed out. All right, fire it up. Listen, fellas and fellettes, I put a lot of junk through a car wash and I've never bottomed out so bad that it shut the machine down. I have never experienced that ever. <laughs> We're still just dragging frame. Might want to fix those air shocks, Jessica. Yeah, I probably should figure something out, huh? Oh, we got the water jets. Here we go. We're doing pretty good, actually. Believe it, and or do not believe it. Oh, we have it. a leak right here. It's drifting down. On the inner side? Yeah. Oh, okay. Not too, too bad. Oh, we did a transition again, but we made it over that one. I don't know if you can see the hood doing this that's scraping down the rail here prevent damage I think that's that's already been done check this out though Boop. Nope. check this out though Boop. Oh, no. oh there, there we go, go. <laughs> well you know Betty's still waking up hasn't had the coffee Hey, we made it. We're at the wire care booth here. We're on the south end, I guess. Got Betty White parked up here. We're gonna get the table out here in a minute and we're gonna be doing some autographs from two to four, meeting all you great folks, having a lot of fun. That's all finished up. That was a blast. I met hundreds of you fans. All of you are just amazing, humble, kind people. We've built such an amazing community. So thank you guys so much. And it lets us do cool things like this and travel around. Now let's go wander around and see some stuff, huh? Summit always does a really nice job with their display. They got a little bit of everything out here. Plus the tech guys ask them fellers about anything and they'll help you out free bag 10 percent off there's coupons in there this is snazzy never seen one of these in person i guess i just don't know if i'm a fan but i do like that alcohol back there well that's kind of cool didn't know they'd have that out here we're trying to figure out where to get our passes bunch these things here each day supposed to do something or other and then at the end they give us a big metal plaque right yeah. so this place is famous for their ice cream you get one pound for how much is it one dollar one pound of ice cream for one dollar so we're gonna get the kids some ice cream you excited yeah what flavor you get chocolate chocolate what about you vanilla vanilla cookie dough oh good choice some event locations you could do drag racing or even autocross. Looks like we got a Chevy pickup and a Camaro. Here we go. Oh, 
pick of freedom. Pick up got him. 13 6 of 103. That truck's moving. I ain't kidding. You. Some sort of plastic car versus a Corvette now. A spider garage is LS swapped. Spider. That's beautiful. Cotton got me two of those ice creams last year and they were delicious. This Ford is driven all over the country. It's not trailered. They drive it everywhere. What? Seen this thing all over the place. It's very cool. These are all so dang shiny. I just don't know how do you drive them. I like the colors in that one. This is a work of art. Goodness gracious. There, yeah, there you go. Approved. Well, that's one way to test a feller straps, I guess. I do like the color. Beautiful 57. Fire turkey. 6.6. Six. Ooh, this one's got a whistle maker on it. Shiny one, even. Everyone's kind of packing up. We got done at about 4. That's when most people start kind of leaving. The parking lot's normally just completely full back there. But folks are starting to head out. Here's a going to town hauler. Oh, look at that. Surprise, surprise. So today's a little bit different of a day because we did the driving to the event yesterday, technically. So today is the only day we're not driving to the event and then doing the event. Tomorrow morning we'll be leaving for Dayton. So we'll be traveling with all these cars. You can see a bunch of them leaving now. There's been a line just going and going. There's gotta be thousands of cars. And that's when it gets really interesting. But today, we don't have to. The event's over. We're going to start packing up here pretty soon. So someone stopped by and gave us a housewarming gift earlier. Oh my goodness. These motorcycle levers? And a distillator. You know what? It actually sounds legit. It really does. We got some metal flake in there. I like it. We didn't catch your name. He's gonna, he's gonna send me his information. Well, that was mighty kind. We'll swing through the parking lot here and see if any folks are hanging out. This is when everybody heads back to the motel and then basically just turns into a bunch of motel parties usually. Oh, I got a Chevelle sitting over here. We got some Camaros, Cuda leaving. Got another Camaro there. Nice old Ram. This is kind of what tomorrow is going to be like, but hundreds of cars. In fact, we probably ought to fill up tonight and get all of our drinks and stuff in the cooler because the gas stations get, you know, they're a little packed in there and hard to get the stuff you need on the route until you get farther out. Anyway, tomorrow I think we've got, uh, was it a three hour drive? It's not, yeah, it's not bad. Something sure. like that, so that's not so bad. Be a nice break on you boys, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna head to the motel right now. We're about a half hour away. I think a guy might pull a couple sparklators out. You know, read on them. Step 42, subsection B. Let's go ahead and change out this fuel filt tray. We saw some rust in that yesterday. I've got an Edelbrock one that's uh, recleanable, reusable. You. I don't know, you just rinse it and keep using it. Let's grab that and put that in quick. See a little bit better today, all these rust chunks in here. And that's gonna be just from the fuel line. I even back flushed that and we're still getting chunks in here. All that clean fuel I'm sure is just scraping this up and sending her through. I'm gonna take this one out and we'll put in this guy. So inside it's just got this element here. Just spray that off with some carb or brake cleaner. Pop her back together and throw it back in. They're a little bit expensive up front, but man, over time, if the feller thinks he's going to keep doing this, it's the way to go. Just make sure you seal on these a little bit. I have found from personal experience, 
I've done a lot of these fellers and fellets. These, what kind of an animal is that? These leak a lot less than the glass tube ones with the metal and plastic fittings. Those shake loose and cause more fires than ex-wives. I don't understand. Are you okay? There we go. And that'll be easy to manton ants on every now and who. And we can take a little bit closer look at this guy. Yeah, wasn't plugged, but there definitely was a bunch of junk in there. I'm kind of surprised all that's just sitting in the line. Might have to take that rubber line off and replace it. She's hung like Christmas lights on a trailer. And I think a lot of that sediment is down on the bellows there. And if I run some new line, that might take care of it. But we're going to pretend that we didn't just say that, basically, and ignore it for now. Now that this rag's hotter than the surface of the sun, let's dig our phalanges in here and get a lightning staff out. See what it's saying. I did do a bunch of fuel make it happen or adjustments right before we left. And then we've got this surging issue. Boy, she is very lean. So it's definitely starving for fuel. And that brown stuff that you see in here on the electrode, that's going to be a octane booster that I'm putting in. And some of that's also going to be from the Berrymans that I've been running through it. But we don't even have a complete soot ring on here. So we do have some fuel make it happen or issues. Probably going to have to address here. Problem is, guy tries to put a holly on here. It ain't going to fit, I don't think, with this ice cube maker box this q jet just barely fits in here gonna have to take a closer look at that and see what our options are the other one is we just go ahead and pull that off try to find a rebuild kit in town of course there's 397.4 rebuild kits for quadrabogs so that's nice maybe we can find the right one probably not but we're gonna have to look at doing that because that is pretty lean i'm gonna go ahead and pull one or two more just to see if that's a consistent thing boy she is just toasty almost like somebody was just rodding on it on the way here that's always lovely when the sun's going down go ahead and just rip that right off yeah you don't need all of it i'd say that's a pretty good repair with the leatherman there fold this back over and re this on there stabilize it good enough there we go couldn't even tell she was broke off now back to what we were doing 58 seven months ago Let's see what this one looks like well i just get are you gonna go on here or are we gonna have to have talk same thing on that one as well may end up changing the sparkulators out before we head home for now they're good enough these are getting expensive now we're gonna put them back in yes sure 10 foot pounds? Maybe. Doubtful. Very close enough. Did I get this one too short? No. The answer is no, but she's taunt. Believe it. And or, I mean, don't. You don't have to. A guy can hear inner and outer wheel bearings, and you can also feel them as you're rotating the tire. So you don't always have to dig all the way in here and take the dust cap off and pull the outer wheel bearing. If you roll this, you don't feel any odd bumps or sticky points, or it feels kind of like, it's hard to explain, but kind of bumpy, like rocky, gravelish. It's not smooth is what I'm saying in here. Also, you can hear it. This one's very consistent. Got a nice sound to it, so I think we're good in there. Plus, I feel them every time I feel up. Even through the poverty caps here, if they're going out, you're gonna get a tremendous amount of heat. I mean, you'll barely be able to touch this. And sometimes you'll even start smelling brakes and you think you got a brake issue, but something wrong in there. Drinker side, it sounds equally as gooder. Don't feel anything odd. Nice, consistent movement. So I think that's, you know, she's good, pretty sure. Maybe. I mean, we'll see. So 
since a guy and his cave unit's going to be departing early in the morning tomorrow, I'm going to swing over to O'Reilly's right now and just grab a couple things. I'm going to pick up an ignition coil too. Usually I carry them and I forgot this time. I don't know why. I like that. Got me that ignition coil. I got this uh, temp shooter upper gun. I've got like, I don't know how many of these. I just keep losing them though from Harbor Freight. This one I might try to keep on. That's my good one. These are handy for picking up oil spills and just to lay on the side of the road. That's good. And then got a couple of towels. They actually didn't have the rebuild kit for the Quadra Jet, which is kind of surprising. It is a smaller store and I don't know where we're at, but we'll just keep our eyes, you know, peeled for one of them. Right now she's just dialed in. Maybe it ate whatever was floating around in there, probably not. We're fixing to head to supper and that's gonna do it for today, the first official day of Hot Rod Power Tour. Now stay tuned, cause tomorrow day two is gonna be much more exciting. We have to drive the Betty White Cadillac another 200 miles. Will it make it? I don't know. It's a lot different. It's gonna be stop and go traffic, lots of idling and sitting. Major concern for everyone tomorrow is, can we keep these things cool? I've seen a lot of rigs overheat. So far we're doing okay and I do have a digital fan, but we'll see. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate you very much. We'll see you next time.